All right, we are live. My man, a hundred grand. You know what I'm saying? My guy, none other than Mr. Brandon Vines. Y'all know who I am. I'm Mr. Kingdom Cash, Charles Dyson. What's up, YouTube world, or whatever platform you're watching this on? Uh, once again, another interview, another success story. Uh, you know, I'm bringing you guys authentic, real people, and I want you to hear their perspective of what it is that we're doing. We're literally making money from a phone, from a cell phone, laptop, desktop, or tablet. You know, we're coaching people, we're helping people all over the world, and we're producing success stories. We're really helping people change their life. But Brandon, Brandon is somebody, matter of fact, I'll get into that. I'll get into that. But Brandon, you got started with me September 8th of 2019, right? Yes. So October, November, December, January, February, March. So it's been literally about six months, right? Today is March 15th, 2020, when we're recording this. And um it's been a journey, man. It's been it's been it's been it's been dope, bro. It's been dope from the beginning. But um I like to always ask in the beginning of the interview, just so people can know and they can be inspired. Um talk to me about your best day trading in the market all right bet so it was a day i got off work i get off work around three in the morning you know what i'm saying i trade the london session so i use i trade around that time anyway i set it up so i could trade when i got off of work because i knew this was something that i wanted to do mm -hmm. like who you literally look at your phone screen look at some candles <laughs> and put a trade in and go to sleep. Like that's like the perfect job. I'm looking at my phone anyway. You feel me? So I might as well make some money from it. Absolutely. You feel me? So I'm looking at GBP AUD and I noticed the setup on a four hour chart. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna set my alarm for four hours to see if I'm really learning <clears throat> or if I need to, you know, go back to the training again or whatever. So I see the I see the setup and I put the trade in. I go to sleep. I wake up literally at eight o'clock i went to sleep, sleep around like four woke up at eight o'clock on the dot candle just hit i go to my meta trader four and it say 330 dollars. i couldn't go back to sleep you feel me so i'm like i'm showing my family i'm like bro like i literally just made 330 dollars in four hours like i have to work i would have to work 12 hours in a day at my job to get that same amount of money and it still wouldn't be that amount wow. it would be like a little bit less wow. so it's all about efficiency with me personally. You know what I'm saying? If I can make three hundred dollars in four hours, I would never go slave for two hundred. You feel me? Absolutely, absolutely, man. And and what I want people to understand is you did it while you wasn't even awake. That's the there is nothing like making hundreds or even thousands of dollars while you're not even awake. Exactly. That's where you want to get to in life, right? But um. The next question that I always want people to know, how did you even find me? How did we meet? All right, so bet I was um I was on YouTube and I uh it was this dude. Well, first of all, I was on Udemy. It's like a little online course for uh college or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I bought a forex course on there. And the way dude the dude was explaining it, he was on lot sizes and it took me like 3 months to learn what a lot size was. So I'm like, man, I, I really spent twenty dollars on this. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm on YouTube and I'm researching Forex and I see a video and it's about lot sizes. So I'm like, all right, bet I got lot sizes in five minutes. Right then and there, I searched for your uh, website. I think it's increasemenow.info. So I went on there. I seen you and your wife, and then it was the story of how you have like nine kids or whatever. So I'm like, I don't have any kids or a wife. If he can do it and be successful. I literally, I know I can. You feel what I'm saying? Off top. So I'm like, hey, follow the leader. I don't take financial advice from people that don't have money. You got the money. You got the goals. You got the dreams. You, you on your path. I'm a big, I'm a big, um, I'm real big on having a solid role model. And when I, I was watching the video, I looked in your eyes and I saw like, this is somebody I can get behind. Cause it's just so like, if you go look at the uh, interview with Andre, he was like talking about relatability. I had that same exact feeling. Like it was just like, 
I can walk up and talk to this dude on the street and it ain't going to be like, oh, I'm too good to talk to him because, you know what I'm saying, I look at charts and I make thousands of dollars every week. It was just like, it was just a brotherly connection off top. So, off top. Yeah. From the first conversation, I remember, man, I was like, man, you a good dude. I could already tell, man, we're going to do real, we're going to do real well together. I knew it from the first conversation, bro. Yes, so the feeling is mutual. But, um, you know, I always highlight that because I want people to understand that, you know, we live, this is year 2020. This is not like 1994 or 1856, right? This is a different time. We can connect with each other. You can literally follow somebody on social media and literally, no matter where they are in the world, connect with them. And that one connection can be the key to unlock another level financially for you for the rest of your life. So I always highlight, you know, how, you know, my friends who've become my family, my brothers, my sisters, like you and the rest of the family, the rest of the team, you know what I mean? We're building real relationships and it started from a YouTube video or Instagram video or, or wherever it, it, the connection was made. So I think that's pretty dope, man. We got a lifelong relationship. We're going to grow old together, get rich together and all that. And it started I already, from... I, told you. I already told you, I owe you a Porsche. So. Absolutely. And I'm holding <laughs> you to it. I want that thing too, bro. I know how to receive. Thank you. Thank you, bro. No, but that's, that's dope, man. That's dope. I can't wait to be, you know, on those levels with you, but... Um, the next question, let's get into the content, the interview. I want, I want to ask you, uh, where were you working when you actually found out about this? Tell me about that. All right. So it was, I worked at Chrysler and, um, uh, it was at a point I was like four years in and, um, uh, I just didn't like the atmosphere in there. Like I'm a free spirit and like, I'm almost 30. I shouldn't be, I'm grown. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I shouldn't have to ask to go to the bathroom. Absolutely. You feel what I'm saying? I shouldn't have to ask, hey, can you cover me so I can go get something to eat? You know what I'm saying? It's just like that whole experience was just kind of trash to me. And then when I stumbled across this, and I'm like, I can't even do this at work. Like, I can't have my phone on. I can't even look at a chart. So I'm like, I, I invested in myself. So I feel like the next best thing to do is get rid of anything that would take me away from that. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I tried this for four years and I wasn't seeing any progress. I wasn't about to make it to year five. Absolutely. That's literally the definition of insanity. I'm not insane. You feel what I'm saying? Right, so right. I'm just like, I even if, I would rather take a bet on myself versus like waiting every Friday for a check that somebody else determines how much I get paid. I determine how much I get paid now. They can't afford me. You know what I'm saying? So I just walked out, bro. I walked up. All of the people on that line didn't even know that was the last time they were ever going to see me. I didn't say nothing to nobody. I don't owe anybody any explanation. And guess what? I'm supposed to be at work right now. I guarantee you, somebody's doing the job that I would be doing right now. Wow. See how easily I was replaced? Absolutely. Hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. So tell me about how many hours you work. I know that when you were working at the working a lot of hours and I can definitely relate to that come from a background working 50 60 70 hours a week I know you was working like that how many hours were you working well we do 10 hour shifts but um uh, the way the, the the material I'm cut from is cashmere and as you know you don't get that dirty you feel me <laughs> so it was like 10 hours a day 40 hours a week but that it felt like 60,000 hours Every week, like, I'm not cut for that. Right. <laughs> I got, like, I got all these dreams and ambitions or whatever, so it was taken away from it. So a 10-hour shift to a regular person felt like 50 hours to me. Right. So I'm saying, because I'm like, I'm at work. I'm thinking about Forex. I'm missing my setup for my trades. This is like, I could just make more money not being here. Like, my spirit wasn't okay with it. Physically, I wasn't okay with it. Like, I had to zone out just to make it through the day. You feel what I'm saying? Just on autopilot. And nobody wants to live like that. So, I mean, I don't know. And you did that for four years. Yes. <sighs> Boy. No direction. I finally got some direction. I'm uh, working on self-actualization or whatever. And once those two things came together, it was just like, it's time to go, bro. Time and to go. And the intervention came in. And the most high said, hey, walk out, bro. And I just, listen, I didn't 
second guess of the night. Like, I haven't been there. Like, like I said, I'm supposed to be there right now. <laughs> <laughs> that takes a lot of that takes a lot of belief, a lot of conviction in what you're doing, man, to do something like that, man. So, tell me at the time when you found me on YouTube, we had that conversation. Talk right. talk to me about your motivation for actually getting started with the movement. All right, bet. So I don't know if you know this or not, but I'm a sneakerhead, you know. Um, it was this pair of shoes that I was waiting on for like a year and a half to come out. I literally was like working check to check or whatever. And uh, I literally had, you know, Jordans now are like 225 or whatever. Right. And I literally had $225. I was saving that money for that. So I'm like, I could either buy these shoes and look cool for like two days, or I can ask somebody for ten dollars real fast and invest in myself. Mm. I chose to do that instead, and now look at me. I can if I if I trade enough, I can buy a whole sneaker consignment shop if I want to. Mm. You know? I got as many shoes as I want. Like shoes don't even matter no more. Like I just want to catch these pips. <laughs> <laughs> You feel me? I just want to catch pips. Right. Right. Man. So, man, <laughs> you said a lot. I want people to understand, like, your mentality towards money, what a little bit of money is and what a lot of money is, completely changes once you start trading. Indeed. Completely changes. And the desires that you have will change. Right. The path that you walk to get what you want completely changes your your conception, your perception of time and how long it will take for you to get to a certain place in life completely changes. So I know that that happened for you after you learn the Skittle strategy. Talk to me about yeah. learning. <laughs> Talk to me about going through my training when you got started and when you really saw the skill strategy. What 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 did you feel? What what in your mind changed? What your perception of money? Tell me about all of that. All right, bet. <clears throat> so I tried to put in trades by myself. Right, mm -hmm. I didn't understand what candlesticks were. I didn't understand the time frames. I had a demo. You know, the, like when you first download MetaTrader, they give you that hundred thousand dollar demo account. Or I'm trading off of that. I losing trades left and right or whatever. So. When I joined the group, it was very welcoming. I felt like I was just chilling with family. Like, the instant I came in, you know what I'm saying? It was like, it didn't feel like a scam, a pyramid. You know, everybody had that little skeptical moment, but it was just like, it went away real fast. You know what I'm saying? Before I ever, ever made any money off trade, it was just like, even if I never make a dollar off trade, I would still hang out with you. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that's Straight up. that feel, bro. So, it was just like, when you put the right mix together, you know what I'm saying? I can't go too much into it because, hey, the game is to be sold, not told. You feel me? And I got the cheat codes to life. <laughs> when you get them, you know where to come to. You feel me? That's all I got to say about that. But when you put that right mix of uh, indicators with the fundamental analysis, you look at the news properly, it's like you can't not make money unless you don't want to make it. It's that simple. Like, I'm not here to convince Nobody to make any money because the two guys you're looking at on the screen right now for whoever's watching this interview, we're going to get some money. Regardless. regardless. We're going to get the money. Hey, join the winning team. Join the winning team. That's all I got to say. Like You put that right mix of indicators and you you do you put them candles right and you you can literally look at your phone. You ain't got to draw a trend line if you don't want to. At all. You ain't got to. You don't have to do none of that, bro. If you don't want, I can look at my phone right now. Go on trading view. Look at the chart and be like, all right, I, don't, I can't put a trade in right now. All right, the setup is there. Let me go ahead and do my thing. Now I got to just worry about risk management and lot sizes at this point. That's it. Like, it's very simple. People overcomplicate this. Mm -hmm. I know because I used to overcomplicate it. I used to. Now it's a no-brainer. Like, I, I hear your voice in my head. Take the trade. Take the trade. Hey. <laughs> Take <the> three. <laughs> That's it. Now, that, listen. I want really. I want people to understand how powerful it is that what you just said. Because when I talk to people, I try to get them to understand that 
Trading is easy. It really is easy when you have the correct information. Yep. And like you said, I I used to <laughs> I used to have like twenty five lines all different directions on my chart. Can't even see them now. There's not a single line on my chart. I don't draw on charts no more. I read the chart. I know exactly what's happening, and I know how to execute to get money out the market. And that's that's what Skittles does for you. It it increases your confidence, and like he said, like you get through this training. And it's like you know exactly what to do at any given moment. You know if it's time to trade. You know if it's time to leave it alone. And it's literally that simple, man. So So it's like it's so simple that it's easy to complicate. (laughs) It's too simple. And then when you start stacking your trades, man. Oh, my goodness. It's what do I tell everybody? I tell everybody if you follow simple instructions, this will work for you. Copy and paste. If you if you, you have an paste. issue with complicating simple stuff, this ain't for you. But if you can follow some simple instruction, it's so, like he said, it's so simple you can complicate it. You just gotta leave it simple. That's it. I use this um, metaphor. I tell people all the time, like if I wanna if I wanna build a house, I would never ask a chef to build me a house. I would ask a chef to cook me something. Right. I'm going to a stonemason, an architect, some somebody like that. So if I want to know how to trade, I'm going to the goat. <laughs> looking at him. You're looking at the goat. How was I? Listen, I'm going to tell you a little quick story. It might be like 10, 15 seconds. Mm-hmm. Um, my mom, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I quit my job to trade. She asked me, was it real money? I quit to trade, but she asked me, is it real money? You know how, like, like I don't want to say older people, but, like, people of a certain age, they look at things differently. But I'm in my mind, I'm trying to digest it. Like, I quit my job to do this. Wow. Of course it's real money. <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course. Man. I can hit that withdrawal button at any time and swipe, swipe, swipe. Right. <laughs> it's nothing to do. It's nothing. <laughs> Swipe, swipeity, swipe, straight up, hey, bro. Hey, hey. Talk to me. Talk to me about your growth from the time when you got started to now. I couldn't even tell you what a lot size was. Now I can tell you, uh, pretty much anything there is to do with trading. Period. Like from that aspect. You want to know what a candlestick is? You want to know what an uh, uptrend is, downtrend, when to survive, when to sell, when to leave it alone, when to take profit, when to take partial profit, when, you, when to get out the trade, when to get in the trade. Tra- Look, hey, we got the sauce to get the point across, and if you ain't got the GPS, then you lost. Uh, I can help you find it. Hey, I'm reclining. This is this is divine design right here. And I, I'm the man with the master plan. If you understand, we can get 100 grand. <laughs> Or more, because you know what's in store. <laughs> I love it. It's easy. I love it, man. I'm t- hey, yo, <laughs> that was fire. Hey, I seen a man make twelve hundred dollars in ten minutes. You think I'm not about to do it? Like this, bro. Go to your job. If you don't want to trade, go to your job. Man, man you get the real money and be on your own time. Come over here to the winning team. We got a couple rings. <laughs> hey, see the team, man. It's showtime, baby. <laughs> it's it's <clears throat> boy, 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 boy. You get me hyped, man. <laughs> man, it, like we try to articulate to people what this can do for their life, and I I I, I find myself struggling to find the words to come across to people that. Making money does not have to be hard. Man, my allergy is messing up. It does not have to be hard. Like, I remember how hard it used to be to make money. Man. And it's so simple, bro. It's, it could be so easy. It is easy. That's the thing. Man, people, listen. People like to do things the hard way. I don't know why, but I'm not. If I can look at my phone for five minutes, put it down, and take a nap, wake up to that, to that cheese... You feel me? It is. Hey, 
It is what it is. It is what it is, man. Talk to me yeah. about talk to me about your outlook of the future now that you have this skill set. I used to have problems, right? Issues like where my next meal coming from, where my next check coming from. Now nah, I'm trying to decide what color I want my 2020 Porsche Taycan Turbo S to be like. You see the difference? Like I don't. Hey, a wise man once said, "When you speak less, you can say more." I'm looking at Porsches now. Before, I wouldn't even uh, fathom that. You feel what I'm saying? It is what it is. Hey, yo. <laughs> we got people in our company getting more than NBA players. What are you? Uh, hey. Hey. Bro, they got to understand that, man. Every month, though. Every month. Mid-level exception check. Every right. month. Every month. And I think he got bird rights, too. We, we on the team for the <laughs> long run. Hey, man, man. Like Jay-Z said, what more can I say? What more can I say? So talk to me about the decision. To, like you, you spoke on it a little bit earlier, but you, you made the decision to quit your job yes, and sir. go all in. Yes, sir. Talk to me about, first of all, what moved you to make that decision? And second of all, now that you're all in, how do you feel? All right, so Beth, what made me make that decision was, to be honest, I saw Andre do it. I saw I saw one of my family members do it. Hey, this is a copycat system. Copy the cat. And Andre, one of the coolest cats I know. He the cat's me out. <laughs> so I'm trying to be a lion with it. Hey. King of the jungle with it. I'm trying to become the greatest me that I can be. The best way to do that is to be on my own time. Move when I need to move. I can't bust moves because I'm at work. I'm at work. I look at my phone on my lunch break, but I can't take a trade because my signal is trash. I'm not around Wi-Fi, and I'm not supposed to have my phone out at all. That's crazy to me. I don't want to be on nobody's time but mine. But that's all I have. Life is short. I don't, I'm not promised tomorrow. I'm not trying to, my last day on earth was, I was on somebody else's time. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? I feel you. It's crazy. What was your second question, sir? I feel you. And and I want to I wanna know, now that you're all in, how do you feel? Like, what, you know, most people, if they get put in a position where they lose their job, they're scared. Right. You quit your job with full confidence. <laughs> you know why? Why? I told myself I was going to face every fear that I had this year. I'm going to just stand in front of it. Back me down. I'm going to hit the three in the face every time. Hall of Fame pip catching badge. You play 2K before. Yep. Come on. Hall of Fame pip catching badge. Hall of Fame analysis badge. We in there. We in there. Hey. <laughs> we in there. We in there. Um, to be honest with you, what made me make this decision and how I feel right now is just like Malcolm X got shot in that place and this was the feeling he was fighting for. I feel free. Mm. Martin Luther King took them stones to the face walking down the street with his wife. This is the feeling he was fighting for. Mm. Harriet Tubman did what she did for this feeling. Mm. I'm living through my answer. I'm living proof. You can do whatever you want to do if you got some confidence about yourself. We don't do low self-esteem over here. I'm one of one. You know what that means? None before and none to come. Period. Period. You know, like, only person that can stop you is you. Absolutely. Hey, what what does poor mean? Passing, passing over, over opportunity opportunities repeatedly. Repeatedly. Let's put emphasis on that. Repeatedly, repeatedly bruh. Repeatedly. The opportunity is there. You can't sit down for an hour a day for a year. Go to your job, bro. That's it. <laughs> Just over broke. That's it, man. I tell hey. listen, I say all the time, your job is only meant to sustain you. It's never going to be meant to elevate you. They're never right. going to pay you enough money to move next door to the person who started the company you work for. I don't even know who he looked like. I don't even know what he looked like. I don't know what he, he don't walk, he don't come where I work at. I don't know what he looked like. I wouldn't even know what to say to him. And that's what people got to understand, man. It's like, like you said, this is, this is real freedom. 
When you don't have to wake up thinking about what bill you're going to pay, how you're going to feed your family, whether you're going to get gas to go to work or whether you're going to get some food. When you wake up and you don't got to make those type of decisions, when you wake up to more money made than you will make going to work for the whole month. Man. <laughs> like, what are we, what are we, what are we really debating whether we should do this or not for? If you're watching this video and you, what are you, what are you debating whether you should do this for? It's, it's, it's a common sense decision. And the only thing that prevents people from making this common sense decision to do this is fear. Pretty much. That's it. False evidence appearing real. That's it's it. Not even real. Fear not is a fear is literally like you woke up one day and decided, hey, I'm scared of this thing. I'm just not gonna do this. I'm scared of this over here. I'm not gonna do this. Wow. You did that to yourself. You scared of the <laughs> thing that has set you free. Hey. So hey. so that, that leads me into my next question. This is the last question. What would you say to someone in that mentality? Somebody who's skeptical, they're thinking it's not real, they're thinking it's, you know, something that, you know, people just are promoting to make money. What would you say to somebody who feels like they can't possibly be telling the truth? It can't be real. Like, that person who wants to believe in it and wants to do it, but they're scared. What would you say to that person? All right, bet. Real simple. Uh, thoughts create reality. If you think it's a scam, don't even touch it. If you think it's real, it is real. I quit my job to do this. I ain't got no. I ain't got time to be playing around. You feel what I'm saying? Like I seen the opportunity and I took it. If it's fake, okay. I lost two hundred and thirty five dollars. Okay. If that's a lot of money to you. It's not. It's not. Like I said, <clears throat> like I said, I, it's a pair of shoes. That's not a lot of money. It's a pair of shoes. Hmm. My whole thing is, <clears throat> if I talk to you about Forex, right, and I see, and you tell me no, okay, that's fine. You know what I'm saying? You're, you're entitled to your opinion. I won't impose my will on you. That's just not my job to do that. But, but if I see you again, and you got brand new shoes on, or anything like that, I don't want to talk to you because you're not cut like me. You got to sacrifice to get things. I sacrifice my job to be free. Literally. It don't matter how much money I make. I got my time back. Period. And that's, that's it. That's, that's, that's it. what I would say. Like, take it. a chance on something for once. Like Do something different one time. That's you it. don't know what'll happen. You don't even know your true capacity, your true capabilities because you're so stuck on Bills, like it's okay. Sacrifice going to the club on Saturday. It's mm. okay. Mm. You're not missing out on that. Mm. You're not missing out on that. Mm. We don't celebrate poverty over here. Not over here. We're not celebrating poverty. You can. That's fine. Do what you want to do. But at the end of the day, you see that man right there? You see me? Porsches. Porsches. Castles. Whatever we want. That's it. It's a pick away. A pip a day, keep the broke away. That's it. Off top. Off top. Off top. That's it, man. And the <laughs> people got to understand, like, there's so much truth in what you said, man. The whole interview is so much truth because people people spend that amount on a weekend just having fun. Exactly. But then the thing that can elevate them, they they get scared of and move away from. You know what I mean? You talked about it. You spent money on a training that did not work, right? People have this mentality like they're going to learn something that can pay them like nothing else in the world for free, for free. If you, if you have a mentality to seek free all the time, you're going to get what you paid for. But if you can invest in information that can compress time and get you to exactly where you want to be faster than bumping your head, falling in a ditch. You know what I mean? Making that silly mistake in the market that caused you to blow your account. That's what a mentor is for. My, my position, right, is to give you my wisdom so you don't have to get knowledge. 
Wisdom is when you get something before it happens. It prevents you from having to experience it. Knowledge is when you bump your head and you learn, oh, I don't need to do that no more. You don't have to lose money in the market. You can literally learn the simple way, the simple <laughs> way to actually make money in the market. And it's so it's easy. It's trading I, is easy. I put it to you like this. You went through it, so I don't have to. Exactly. <laughs> Hey, every mistake I make from here on out is because of me. The, the game plan is right there. Right if there. If I don't run the play, if I don't run the route properly, is it the coach's fault or is it my fault? Straight up, man. Straight Greatest up. coach ever, bro. Hey, you see I, the man? You see the man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> I appreciate you, dog. The goat. <laughs> I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you, man. Listen, my, my, my joy is meeting people like you that sh completely changed their life. You know what I mean? To share some information with somebody that completely changes the trajectory of their life, completely changes their perception of what they thought was possible. You know what I mean? I remember there was a time where I thought $5,000 a month was a lot of money. Right. Now, $5,000 a day, it's nothing. You ain't working hard enough. You can't, ain't <laughs> you nothing. Can't run pips. It, it's you nothing. <laughs> it's nothing. So, you know, I, I want people to understand that this is real. It's possible. You can do it. And you're another walking testimony of what just some belief and the ability to keep the simple things simple can do. You know what I mean? And so, wrapping up, I want people to know, you know what I mean? Brandon, first off, you you a one, bro. Hey, there's nobody better. <laughs> you, I, I want people to understand this gentleman right here, this guy right here, the most one of the most genuine, authentic, kind, spirited people you will ever meet, and I'm blessed to be attached to you, for yeah, real, man. That, bro. For real, I'm blessed to have met you. I'm blessed to be walking this road of life with you. And the, and the levels that we're getting to and the lives that we're changing together is nothing better. So if people want to contact you directly, and I'm going to put that on the screen for you, for the people watching this video, how can they get in touch with you directly, bro? All right. So you can hit me on my iCloud or you can hit me on my Facebook. He's going to put the links up there for me. So I ain't really got to say it. You know, efficiency is key when you're dealing with me. Yes, sir. <laughs> hey, this is an amazing interview. I appreciate you for taking the time to do this. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, what else can I say? But let's get some money. <laughs> let's get some money, man. Let's get some money. Y'all know who I am, Mr. King of Cash, Charles Dyson. Y'all already know where to find me. I'm gonna put the link on the screen. Increase me now. Info that takes you straight to the the Facebook group. When you're uh, requesting to get into the group, all you gotta do is put Brandon's name, Brandon Vines. Or you can put my name, Charles Dyson, whichever one you choose, and we will let you into the group. Um, also, y'all know my website, smartphonecash.com. You can go there if you want more information as well. But, um, you know, like I said, bro, I appreciate you for coming on here and talking to the people and letting them know how real this is, man. Hey, it's as real as it gets. Most deaf, most deaf. You want to make money, come get on the winning team. Like I said, we got a lot of chips. You see the... <laughs> It's showtime. <laughs> Straight up, man. Straight up, man. So listen, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you sub like this video, subscribe, right? Click the bell so you get notified when other dope, amazing content is uploaded. And appreciate you guys for watching. God bless. And we'll see you on the other side. Come make this money with us, and we'll take good care of you. Peace.